Hi everybody, so this is the first vid for the A2 proof pack. There's only one lesson, but I think there's a little bit of self-study at the start. Uh, oh, I'll stop, so, well, more of a starter. Right, so it says uh, a recap of A1 proof. So proof is a convincing demonstration uh, that a mathematical statement is true. So you might not have seen it before, but you can give it a go. So we're going to disprove it. So disprove the following statement. So if x is greater than y, then x squared is greater than y. Now this might only be worth about two marks. So you're thinking to yourself, I'm not going to do that much with it. Right, so let's think of some numbers then. So I think we've done this last year. So if we let x equal 1, one the x has to be bigger than y, but let's put y as... Hang on. Let's put y as a negative number. Boing. Let's have y as minus 10. So if you think 1 is greater than minus 10. So x is greater than y is true. But then if I look at 1 squared, that's less than minus 10 squared. So the, the, the 1 is greater. Well, I'm not going to do it. The, uh, the x squared, we've got like 1 less than 100. So the x squared is greater than y squared. It's false. So I just kind of looked at both bits separately there, haven't I? So therefore, uh, x is greater than y, then x squared is greater than y squared. It's false. There. Right, so let's have a look at this one now. So this one says uh, algebraic steps. So we're worth a few more, maybe about three or four, who knows? So prove that for all positive integers, n cubed minus n is a multiple of six. Right, okay. So let's have a think about n cubed minus n. Let's do some algebra on it. So I've got n, n squared minus 1. So the n squared minus 1 is a difference of two squares. Now you might not spot it there, but that's n minus 1 times by n times by n plus 1. If n was 5, I'd have 4 times 5 times 6. What I've got here are three successive integers. The next to each other. Now, for any three numbers, if you think about 10, 11, 12, there will always be a multiple of 3, and there will always be at least one multiple of 2. You do it with any numbers, choose any numbers you want, You'll always have one multiple of three and at least one multiple of two. If it, were, if it gets bigger, if it's like five successive numbers. Uh, I've used successive, but I guess consecutive was the, the word I was really looking for. So for any integer n, got to be careful with my time here because it's a lot of... This is like a, a, a waffle topic. Uh, consecutive. Integers. So at least one multiple of two. An even number and a multiple of 3. Therefore, we must have a multiple of 6. I'm running out of time there, so I'm going to stop. 